attempt doing this video uh, because someone asked me to put my American bullies on. Um, this is my house. Um, I have a big yard. I'm going to get everything closed off. I'm working on that. This is my XL game pit. She's XL and she is really big and really thick. She's right now at 140, close to 150. This is my American uh, Bulldog male. He's NKC registered. You see, he had little issues. I got that healed up. And he is one, 147 in, in weight. He is big. He is 16 months old now, 17 months old. He's 16 or 17 months old. I got to look at his papers because he's NKC registered. She's UKC registered. And I get the puppies registered to UKC as American bullies. Or if you don't want to register, it's cheaper. They just had a litter and they all sold out within one week of them being born. And now they're all gone to nice homes. Those pups. Those pups are now ranging only five months old. Five months and they're already hitting 70 pounds. The biggest pup, he said, which I, I have to see him in person, he said it's 90 pounds. So I'm kind of like, uh, are you sure? He was like, I'm sure. But yeah, they produce really good American bullies and they produce XL American bullies, not the average standard American bullies or the ones with the old English or the ones with the French Bulldog or the little exotic. I believe in purposeful dogs. So. They're the big ones. He needs to be washed. But him and her play so much that it's kind of like, well, she is, she's, she's big. She's, they're both guard dogs. Guard purpose, uh, he loves her to death. <laughs> <laughs> and he is up for stud. He is really big. And, yeah. Him and her are, you know, they're made. I have Danes. I just had a litter of English Mastiffs and Euro Dane pups, which are two pounds and they're three days old. I only have two left because I had a lot of people that were waiting on the pups. So I had people put, I told them put a hundred and fifty dollar down deposit. Um, if you reserve, um, you'll pay. For a six, it's 600. I only have one female, one male left, both Brindle. I'm going to put them on there as well. Um, I I take PayPal, I take Walmart to Walmart, and I also take cash. I do not take money orders and none of that other crap. Um, I I make sure you see your pup every two days because I have a, a midwife that comes with me every two days. She comes in. Um, weighs my pups and everything so you get to experience your pup without having it and I let them make payments I'm like the best you know hashtag breeder in the world <laughs> which a lot of people buy their pups they don't see them until they're ready to come with me you get to experience the whole part I do live video chats every week for pups and I've had a lot of dual buyers because they like the way that I um you know it, they like the way I breed how I keep involve you into the process without taking up all your time but yeah these are my American bullies mom is actually taller and thicker than dad dad is white so you can see his color really well she won't be coming into heat until about probably two months it looks like she's trying to get fat so about a month two months I'm going to relit them um, like I say, for my American bullies, if registered, if I have to go through the paperwork to get them registered, they are more, which I do charge roughly 800 to 900 for the registries. Without them, if you want them for pet price, you just want a really good blood, good thick guard dog with the really bully, stop it, man, with the really bully um, exterior about him or them then yes i i do pet pre fees and that's around 600 sometimes if i can sense that you have a really really good home i'll do it for five so but yeah um that that's gonna be my next litter which she oh bang. i wanna i don't like to keep him on there but since um i had to get some of my fence repaired i have to keep him tethered because he'll 
door it out and just have a good time and you know he does make people run on cars so i i give him all he has all the space in the world to do what he does that's his little house over there which he keeps climbing on it and i want to let you know these are high energy game dogs these are, he pulls i i he pulled once and he got up to 900 pounds but i stopped because i heard that it hurts the joints and you know, so I was kind of like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> but they really like him. And when um, he had a litter of pup, one of his pups is actually going to be put into the position of pulling. They end up bought, buying one of his pups. So mom, she's a thick one. And she is. She's um, XL game. She's from Tennessee. She got some some uh, good lines in her as far as Pitt is concerned. And she just is really big. She's XL game. She's not the little small. She's from Tennessee, and she's a beaut. Uh, but he is available for stud. If you're looking for a real good American Bulldog, and you have, he'll be, he's full Johnson. He's not a mixed Johnson. He's not one of them Scotties. He's not none of those. He is full Johnson, and he is a, he, he is a, he is a, working dog <laughs> he is a working dog like literally he is a working dog so next I'll do one of my Danes which they are so beautiful everybody always awes over my Danes they're all over him too I gotta clean him up um he he does so much working out at his peak he was 170 pounds and he was just really big and I kind of didn't want him to be that big because you know, he was doing a lot of, you know, making that sound. So I, I trimmed him down, which he's 140 easy and, and nice and, and good. <laughs> she is, she got, she peaked out at one, 170, but she was just like really big too. And I'm like, no, I need him for the gameness that's in the breed and the bulliness that's in the breed. Because when people buy my dogs, they don't see a dog that I just fluffed up and fat. They see the game and the working in my dogs. They see... You know, when they see mom, they see her guard abilities. When they see dad, they see him in rage mode. They see that they're trainable. They see that they're manageable dogs. It's just I have them down there because my fence. So I don't want anybody to come to my home or property and think that they can just walk in here, you know. I'll also do one of my Neapolitan and um, uh, my English, like I said, my English Mastiff. Just had a litter with my uh, Great Dane, which most are reserved. Um, but I do have two, maybe three, if this person doesn't put down his deposit. And he has the biggest girl. Most of them are brindle, black. Um, but yeah, these are my bullies. And I'm in the Midwest, St. Louis. I do offer shipping but at your expense. But I can tell you, I haven't shipped a pup that was over $300. And this is from either to California. I'm right in the middle. So you kind of get the best of the shipping prices. And I use U ship. So whenever they come back into when she come back into heat, which it look like it'll be if not a month, two months, that'll be her mate. And the, I'll have another litter of some bullies, some real good bullies, not the little bullies that they just show off. And if someone comes in your house, you know, you can't protect it because it's too small, or you know, it's what my friend calls it. He does American bullies. He likes to call his little bullies ankle biters, in which he wants to convert one of his little bullies to mating my male to kind of get a bigger bully style. But then what he did was just bought one of mine, and now he's implementing the XL American Bully in his line. So, yeah, these are my babes for my American Bully. So, uh, it's my bully breed. He's American Bulldog, but he is still in the bully breed. And, you know, I kind of just like to help people and knowledge them on, on what I know. But yeah, he's 140 trimmed and he can get every bit of 180. If I just allow him to eat, 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 I manage them. They're half raw, half kibble. And she's starting to get back interested in him in that sense. But you can tell she's kind of like, she's a guard dog, so she guards. She hear any sound and, and she's built like a rock. Uh, she has, both of them have protection training. He outdoes himself in protection training. Like when they tell you to stop, are you telling him to pull out? 
like he he has some some things that riff we had to well they had to go rebuy a whole vest because he kind of ripped down it ripped ripped some of the seam out of it and they were like oh my god so i had a lot of interruption calls <laughs> but that's it this is my line sadie good mama take a seat sit sit oh good girl good girl and him he's a beast a lot of people see him and they like no and they can tell he's Johnson American Bulldog, but they're kind of like, he's huge. And then they show me their little American Bulldog Johnsons, and they're like shorter. Or they're not as stout, and they're not as big, and they're not as thick. So, I mean, I buy, well, a lot of people buy my pups just off, you know, off face value. You can see the quality in the dogs. But, okay, I'll do my American Bully. Well, I could do my Danifs next. So, um, yeah. Say bye. Say bye, Beanie. Beanie boy, say bye. I'm going to try to do a video where you see him in action. <laughs> okay, bye.